Hello and welcome back to the Usu pleasant little village of Shrouded Hills. Where we've kind of gotten stuck. Well, we don't know we're stuck yet, but we are stuck. We will find that out this episode with Ogor. Ogor. Alright. So, um, yes, we, uh, last time we were checking, chatting up with the, uh, seller of, uh, various stuff. I mean, meanwhile, I actually sold, uh, emptied our inventory a little bit of stuff that might be of value, so we got a bit of gold and such. Not that much, though. And yes, he may have had words about uh, the ring that we got. Oh, hello, strange set person. Uh, do you have a moment? I, have this ri I had this ring, and it was really interesting. You know, the guy with the ring said he'd stay here, but he's gone. Interesting. A finely made piece of jewelry. What exactly do you want from this, lad? Um, what does Peace Skyler and Son mean? Peace Skyler and Son, a very important piece of the puzzle, my friend. It has been uh, very free with uh, Ristred Z. It's been very free with information, no? What, uh, what do you offer Ristred for this information? Well, you have been nothing but helpful and real knowledgeable about things. Is that since for your poorly failed attempt to recourse him with true flattery? I'm not new to the wiles of a fast-talking man. Let's cut to the chase. Reset has information you need, and Reset needs something in return. Alright, what are you looking for? Reset is a collector of strange and wonderful things. Perhaps there are a few objects you could add to Reset's collection. Another lightsaber for my collection. Oh, uh, what, what are you looking for? Is it junk? Two things, actually. If you are able to locate a camera, the technological wonder, or perhaps something of Bessie Toons, the results will tell you about P. Skyler and Sons and where you might find them. Who's we know Bessie Toons? She owns the mine and is apparently a ghost. Let's ask a bit more. Bessie Toons is the owner of the old mine north of town. Rumor has it one day she walked up into the mine and fired all the workers and disappeared into the caves, never to be seen again. So, sounds like a weird old crone to me. Yes, but she's quite a legend in Shrouded Hills. And it seems the rural mythos is associated with the associated paraphernalia are all the rage in the rent these days. The Zeds are an exhibit in HD panels that you wouldn't believe. Alright, I will turn if I found either or both of the items. Yep, so we have a quest. Well, technically we already have one of the items because, let's see... Yes, we have a camera. However, we want to hang on to this one. Foreknowledge of the game, I know. So, we are going to find something of Bessie Toons. It's easier to get that. It should be easy enough, so we'll head to the mines very soon. But first, let us go see if we can do some other quests. Specifically for... The person who runs this shop, Jungles Enchantments. Jungles Enchantments, that sounds uh, neat. What a dark room. Hello there, jung I guess you're a jungle. Hmm, voice for, for a halfling. Why would you, why would you wish uh, to speak with an, uh, why would you think I would wish to speak with an ogre? Why would you not want to speak with me? I'm real simple and nice and all that. The halfling before you regards you coolly, then with a slight smile. I see, you are a man of reason. Perhaps I spoke too quickly. Oh, I'm glad you think so. I usually don't speak very fast, so lots of people speak quickly for me. Who are you? I'm Jungle Dan, a learned wizard and alchemist. If you have a, pro have a problem, I will, uh, in Shrouded Hills of a magical nature, I'm the person to see. You've got me at a bad time, friend. 
Perhaps you can speak later. Oh, nice to meet you. Do you have jobs? Well, perhaps. I have a problem here in Shrouded Hills of a most delicate nature. Strictly confidential if you get my meaning. Of course. My, 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 what is it that you want me to do? Certainly. So what, what do you need me to do? Well, he leans over to you looking at your own secretly. There's a conspiracy here in Shrouded Hills. A dark fun full of mystery and intrigue. Okay. What is it exactly that I need to do? I said that three times already. This whole town wants to is out to get rid of me. They have been brainwashed by that Constable Owens. I don't think he's very good at brainwashing. He doesn't seem to be very good at anything, really. And now it's only a matter of time before I'm forced to leave. I say, what, what does Constable o o Owens do well then? What has he done to me? The man has endangered the natural balance which allows me to put my bread on my table. Do you have any idea what the presence of his bloody steam engine does to my magical abilities? Oh, uh, what are you talking about? That blasted technological gadgetry! It upsets the flows by which I perform my miracles of magic and alchemy. Magic and technology are very different. Magic works against the laws of nature while technology is very dependent on them. So. That machine makes it difficult to cast spells and do my experiments. Business is bad. That's a shame. What, what do you, what exactly, especially in such a big town like this? <laughs> the sarcasm is lost on him. Yes! If only there was someone who would do something about it! He throws a hood glance at your way. Okay, you want me to do something? Yes. If you could find him and disable this infernal machine, I might be able to be able to part with a couple of healing potions. What do you say? Oh, okay. Great, I look forward to hearing from you. Okay, bye. We are going to do this job. Not because of the reward or ideological uh, things. Well, because causing trouble means we can solve that same trouble that we've caused. Brilliant. Kind of like with the Jacobs fellow who we betrayed for the, uh, to Doc Roberts. I'm pretty sure that, uh, yeah. Yeah, he is gone now. I, uh, don't think I want to know what Doc Roberts did to him. Probably shot him and buried him in a ditch somewhere. I wouldn't be surprised about that. He seemed the type. So let us go and do the things with the steam engine, which we can do over here. So this used to be an old Panari temple. Now I'm actually curious. Last time we, uh, I think we already heard about the Shrouded Hills from Virgil. How about we hear from Shrouded Hills from Virgil when we're drunk? Uh... Get over with the ogre. I don't have time for real day. Okay. What can I do for you? I'd like a drink, please. Two coin. There you go. Hey, sir. Enjoy. Thank you. Look, 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 look. And yes, I I'd like another drink, please. Two coin. Thank you. Look, look, look. Are we stupid yet? Uh, I'll knock another drink, please. There you go. Look, <laughs> thanks. Yay, we're stupid. Yeah, we're real stupid. Hey, Virgil. Hi, hi, Virgil. What is it that you want? Hi, Virgil. I, I, I need to ask something. What can I answer for you? Ah, uh, what do you know about here? This is Shrouded Hills. There's an old Panari temple here. Oh, the is. Elder Joachim told me that it was once a very important place to the Panari. That's no funny. I don't know much else about the place beyond. That's what is it that funny. you want of okay. me? What? 
I'm like, no. What is it that you want? Of me? What I, can I answer for you? To tell Fogu. 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 No. Damn it, can I ask him for stupid questions? What is it that you want of me? Uh. What can I answer for you? Oh, so we can't ask about what we're supposed to be doing. Oh well. For this job, it is fine to be slop country drunk. In fact, that's actually a better plan. Now we have a legal excuse. Oh, I'm sorry, officer. I, I didn't know I should smash the steam engine. I was drunk. Excellent defense. By the way, let's put this on normal mode. Fighting rats, we can... Oh yeah, if we're drunk, we're not that good fighters. Oh well. There's another rat there, yes. Okay, I think that's all the rats killed. Very good. It stays in combat, so there is a rat somewhere here. A rat that needs to die. Ding, ding, ding. Is he hiding somewhere here? Okay, don't get why that happened. Oh, you lock my same engine in mine. I'll keep it clean and it run good. Ah, I like it shiny. Yes, yes, it's shiny. Say, I like steam. Steam's hot, makes funny noises. <laughs> funny. I got with machines. I'll fix good. You like steam engine in shiny? I goes now. And okay, so I, I, I got good idea. This is funny. This is real funny. So I got this, this thing dynamite. And I'm gonna put it right here. That'll be fun. So we uh, put the dynamite, put it right there. Oh, now he's angry. Okay, now we have to run away. Because, uh,. I don't think eating dynamite is a good idea. It's still working. Uh, that's not good. Um, do we have more things that go boom? No. Okay. Ah, uh, we did do damage though. We need something heavy to eat. Let's go find something every day that went. Yay! And so Ogre went to find something heavy to hit the steam engine with. Oh, this could be. I could maybe make boom out of that. And what's here? A random rope. Well, it'll probably sell for some gold coin. So right now we'll just take it. So this is gonna be oh god's epic drunken crime spree. And um, and we killed the little dun dwarf. That is very unfortunate, but you know, things happen when you're drunk. So what do we kind of need? I think we'll go and try and buy one of those from the uh, from the smith. We need an axe. Axes are really good at breaking things. Sticks are as well, or clubs. But swords actually kind of break when you start hitting uh, things. Hi, Virtos. I got a question. I need a second for this. What else do you need of? I'll trade stuff. Okay, so he has a cheap ass axe, but it's not that cheap. It's rather bloody expensive. Cause these people and their prices. Hammers also. A hammer is pretty good for smashing things. It's slow as hell, but uh, it'll break things real good. Yeah, let's get a hammer. All right, now we just need some to make some space to sell some. Well, we'll just put some stuff in the quick bar. We're strong. We can carry it all the way.
So then I would have had to, sp have to spend money on this. I kind of do not want to do that. Now I'm not spending money on this. We'll go and find and steal something to smash stuff with. That's a great plan. Even if we have to use our fists to do it. All right, can we smash this stuff with our fist? So we can actually find, once we find the window. Where is it? Okay, so if I hold my mouse here, that should target the window. Ow, that hurts my fist a bit. Oh well, it's fine, Virgil heals. Oh. Oh well, Ogre can smash it with his fists anyway. I got real strong fists. Maybe we should just smash the steam engine with our fists. Now that I think about it. The Inverter can just heal us from that sort of stuff. So, Still, burglary is good to add to our crime rap sheet. Mm, anything else we can steal here? No, oh well. And now we can just add to... Yeah, let's see if we can just smash the steam engine with our raw fists. Because we is Ogre. And Ogre is strong. Swords. What we're, with, with what we're smashing, we don't need swords. Da, 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 da. Need some space here. Because yes, the sword will start breaking, but our fists, well, I mean our health will break, but that's what we have got Virgil for. Smash good! Yeah. Oh baby! Oh go smash! Oh go smash good. Alright, we did a job! Right. a job. Ogre did a good job with his fists. We're gonna probably need to empty our inventory again in the near future. Maybe uh, get our hands on some armor. Hopefully we'll get that soon, but the smith doesn't have anything in our size. What is it? Hello, don't down. I have a moment. Certainly. Well, I got drunk and uh, I went for a walk and the steam engine uh, is not is not a problem anymore. Really? That is wonderful! Here's your payment. He hands you uh, some potions. You're quite a resourceful young man. Perhaps you'd like to uh, help, uh, help me with something else for me. Okay, what do you need? Well, as I told you, I am an alchemist. I've studied long and hard for the chemical attributes of lead and gold. It seems I finally discovered the secret of making the former out of the letter. All the all I need now is the final secret ingredient. I uh, want that ingredient. It's the final secret ingredient of turning lead into gold. More gold. Because then that's not alchemy. That is a ma that that's a magic trick. No, I am sorry, I'm afraid that's my business. Unfortunately, I don't have access to it here in Shrouded Hills. And the only man who sells it is in Durnholm, to the east. Here, I'll mark it on your map. He does so. The, man in the, the man's name is Charles Dolan, and he owns a shop in Durnholm. What, what do I need to do? You just need to speak with Mr. Dolan and tell him that you've come to pick up a package for John Dunn. I'll wire ahead, for, ahead to him and tell him to expect you. For your services, I'll pay you 70 gold pieces. What do you say? Okay, sounds good. Splendid! I'll wire Dolan to tell him to expect you. I'll see you, you when you return. I have questions about this uh, job. But uh, I cannot yet reveal the questions about this job. It'll become apparent what is that this job is strange. 
anyways, for now, uh, let us sell some stuff. And we did level up, so we can probably make something good now. We will check that out very soon. Uh, leather armor. Yeah, he doesn't have anything on our side, but what will he buy? He'll buy this for two gold pieces. Nothing there. For the magnesium, he will pay nothing. Okay, we can leave that in here then. What will he pay for the robes? Hmm. Ammonia. I don't think we need ammonia anytime soon. Actually, let's first, let's first get to this. So, we'll level up. Now, we're gonna get another technical article. This is a really cool one. The Charge Ring! It gives increased reflex if we wear it. So, let us have a chat with the Charge Ring. Uh, electricity. So, we already had an erratic light. The nature of the most awesome force is tamed in this wonderful little device, composed of merely a small filament and a common household lantern. By trapping the electrical flows in the filament, a person carry, can, can carry the light into the darkest places without discomforts, usually produced by smoking sputtering torches. So that is a good sales pitch. Uh, we we'll, we'll, do need a lantern though, but we'll find one. And in dark caves, yes, um, darkness does actually compose like a serious two hit uh, penalty, which uh, this light uh, stops from happening. Now, this is the important one, the one we really wanted. The charge ring. Tests have shown that the advantageous effects of electricity on the human nervous system and this wonderful little science, the wonder of the scientific realm is a testament to that fact. Made of a copper ring and an electrical capacitator, this charge ring gives the wearers increased reflexive performance and power. Well, we'll definitely make that then. So now we have a charge ring, which gives us plus two dexterity. That is a very good bonus this early on. And allows us to train up our... We can't train up our melee yet, but we can in the near future. Do we actually get more points? Oh yeah, it's level 5, so we got 2 points. Uh, what should we put the other point in? So this isn't that too useful yet. We can start in the... We'll wait with this one. Like a physical power, the elixir of physical powers is nice, but uh, personal persuasion aren't that useful yet. I think we need so uh, now we need to start working on some fighting capabilities. So we cannot do melee, but we can increase our dodge, which I think we should do, or just throw dexterity up a bit. It might also not be a bad idea. Yeah, let's throw dexterity up a bit. The more we hit, the more experience we get, and the better we'll be, uh, we'll be off to then. Alright, so we have 9 dexterity. Very good. Now we just need, if we can find like another copper ring somewhere, which is definitely, actually we should, if we got the money... Ah, but we don't have another electrical capacitator. Well, maybe they'll sell that as well. We should check the stores for a bit. Now we get into some serious crafting going on. And that's fun. I like a crafting. Ah, so we can buy a lantern here, but we can find lanterns in the near future. So that, that's not worth it to buy. He does not have a copper ring that I'm seeing. So that is unfortunate. Okay. So, Rosette might have sort of stuff though. Let's have a look with Rosette. Maybe also offer better prices. Uh, yeah, no, we don't want to give him the camera. We just want to trade. What sort of objects do you buy and sell? Uh, we can ask the difference between magic and technology. We might do that as he has a good explanation. I just. Ah, yeah, trade goods. Okay. So, what does he sell? Sheet metal is good uh, for smithing soon in the future, not for now though. He 
he does not seem to sell a electrical capacitor or anything. He does sell a shovel. Yeah, you think why? Well, yeah, and but uh, yeah, that might be. He pays the same for this, so. But yeah, I think I will just uh, unload a bit more gear, and next up we will uh, be going on more adventures here in Shroud Hills. Probably go into the mine of Bessie too and see what we find there. So until the next episode, I hope you enjoyed the uh, Dragon Adventure Ogre. Yay! I smash with my fists. Till then, bye bye. <laughs>